The Royals, the Twins, the Cardinals, Mets, and Angels are all on the outside looking in. Who will be my favorites? My top five stacks for today. It is Tuesday, August 22nd. We're talking about DraftKings and we're doing it right after this. You gotta sign up for the MLB Premium Weekly Pass. Less than 10 bucks for your first week as long as you use the promo code SCORE or click the link in the description of this video. You can see it on the screen right now. Normally $18.95 a week, you get it half off. Projections, ownership, top stacks, top pitchers, top batters, the lineup generator, which will be well worth the price of admission, and our premium Discord. Check it out, all of it. 50% off using the link in the description of this video. First up at number five, I'm going to the Dodgers. 8% chance at top stack, 2% chance at top value, taking on Noah Syndergaard and the Guardians. 5.3 run implied total here for LA. Now they are on the road, but this one looks good anyway. Although they are a little expensive at the top. 7% optimal Mookie bets is your best Dodger. Freeman, Smith, Muncy all look really good. The bottom of the order is pretty cheap, but they're also like completely interchangeable and uninteresting. Good luck figuring out if you want David Peralta, Jason Hayward, or James Outman. They all work, depending on how much salary you have. Either way, big upside on the Dodgers. Scary Park. Next up at number four, we have the Mariners. 7% chance at top stack, 7% chance at top value, taking on Mike Clevenger and the White Sox. 4.8 run implied total here for Seattle. Much better spot for them. Their park at home, Pitcher's Park, Chicago, a little bit less so. You're getting 8% optimal odds on Julio Rodriguez. Didn't play yesterday, or at least didn't start yesterday. 5,500 today, looking good. Cal Raleigh, massive day yesterday. 4,300 for him. I'm happy to go right back to Cal Raleigh and get the benefit of the lefty-righty matchup. In at number three, we're going to the Yankees. They are at home taking on the Nats and Josiah Gray. 6% chance at top stack, 11% chance at top value. That's the best we've seen so far. These guys are basically free outside of Aaron Judge. 6,200 for Judge is your best option, but 4,200 for Torres, 4,300 for Stanton. These prices are not correct, especially for this spot. 4.9 run implied total looks great for the Yankees, but if you're looking to fill out a lineup, the New York Yankees are a great way to do it. But the Pirates are even better at it. 6% chance at top stack, 15% chance at top value, even better than the Yankees. 5.1 run implied total for Pittsburgh at home, taking on Adam Wainwright and the Cardinals. And Adam Wainwright's just gonna make you feel like you're better off. 2,700 for Bay in the leadoff spot, second base outfield MPE. That will be your best Pirate. However, Jack Sawinski for 3,400 is wildly underpriced. Brian Reynolds is 4,800. That is the most expensive hitter in the Pirates projected lineup. That is so incredibly cheap, especially on a day like today. Augmenting a lineup with the Pirates is super, super easy. And then you get to the Atlanta Braves. Repping them again today. Tyler McGill going for the Mets. 6.3 run implied total for Atlanta. There's nothing left to say. Acuna looks exceptional at 6,700. So does Matt Olson. So does Riley. Harris is still 4,700 in the two hole. He's probably one of the better plays you'll find today just because of his spot in the order. Sean Murphy is still a $5,200 catcher, potentially hitting seventh, but it's still worth it. No team is even close. 15% chance at top stack for the Braves. The next closest team is the Dodgers at eight. Are they cheap? No. Does it matter to me? No. Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my MLB DFS contenders on DraftKings for Tuesday, August 22nd. FanDuel version is around here somewhere. Check it out. Good luck tonight, everybody. Win some money. We're back again tomorrow morning for another edition of The Contenders.